Hello, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. Uh, I just wanted to um, make this short video to show you a couple little projects that I've done using uh, kits from Shabby Art Boutique. Uh, this, this one is um, a paper sewing wallet. And um, I, I think I purchased this kit off of her Etsy page. And then this one is a Vintage Favor box. And I believe that it was a freebie, which uh, you can get from uh, joining her uh, newsletter. And then um, once you receive the newsletter, you get a code to go into her site and receive her freebies. So since it's Valentine's Day, I think I'll show you the Valentine project first. <clears throat> This is just a little favor box, and um, it comes uh, with the box part is all laid out, and you cut it out. You glue the sides together, and um, <clears throat> and then the bottom punches up inside. And the only thing that I would do different on this is this curved area right here. Uh, I would go ahead and score that like I did the, the straight edges because I had a little trouble getting that to bend in nicely. But once you get the sides put together, you just punch this up by holding it uh, like this and just punch it in so that it creates the bottom for the box. Uh, it has several cutouts, some little... Um, pockets and or tags and things that you could put in here but um, I would use this just for favors for candy uh, for a little tea party or a Valentine party or a small gift for a friend this is fussy cut out from the uh, top of the pattern page and glued inside and then this little cherub down here is also fussy cut out and glued on and I accented the um, uh, box by putting my pearls across the top here and a little bow. And then when I, I thought about filling it, uh, you could use like shredded uh, paper or pink tissue, but I had this lace and I just took a couple pieces of the lace and kind of wadded it up like this and tucked it down inside. So if you wanted to put use the lace and you wanted to put candy in here, you would just lay these out, put your little pieces of candy in there, and fold this up and tuck it inside. So that's our little favor box. Uh, it instructs you to print uh, on both sides. The pink hearts are on the back side, printed on the back side and the actual shape for the box to be cut out is printed on the front side. And this was done uh, using um, cardstock. The second project is a little uh, <clears throat> needle pouch. And it's uh, everything you need in the kit is there uh, to um, put this together in a very short period of time. Um, it, uh, comes, uh, like this, you cut this out, and it's also printed on the back side so that the inside has this faint stripe pattern. Uh, this piece, and this piece, and this piece are all cut out, and, um, inked, I inked around everything. And this top piece is glued down. This piece is glued down. And then I took a piece of fabric, or you could use um, felt or something like that to put your needles and pins in. I just glued it across the top and then glued this uh, lace on top of it. And I had some needles that I just stuck in there. So if I was gonna give this as a gift, it would already have the needles in it. <clears throat> this bottom piece, uh, I made a lace pocket and all I did was cut the lace a little longer than this piece of paper that's to be glued down and I glued it across the bottom 
and then I tucked the um, lace behind and glued before I put this down at this section. And then the kit comes with these three little pieces. One is a button card, and I just glued a button on there. Uh, these two are for thread or floss, and I had some little pastel um, kind of uh, floss, and so I wrapped it around there. And when I did that, I just cut a little notch here and here so that I could tuck the thread in there and it would hold itself in place. So these just tuck down in the bottom. And I have fastened the whole thing shut with Velcro dot. Uh, you just place the dot where you want it, place the other side on it, and then close it up to glue it down. And then it holds, helps to hold the whole thing closed. Uh, the only other decoration I did was a bow on the front. Now I can see this if you were doing a uh, sewing journal that you could actually just glue this right down on the page and it would open up in the journal or you could tuck it in a, um, a belly band or in a pocket. So that's all I wanted to share with you today, these two little projects. Uh, I sat down yesterday afternoon and um, I may have spent a couple hours cutting these out and I already had them printed, but to cut them out and uh, actually um, put everything together. So I hope you've enjoyed this and if you'll uh, go over to um, <clears throat> Kelly Ann's Etsy shop and her newsletter, uh, Shabby Art Boutique, you'll be able to get these two items if you would like to make them. Uh, this one, that's a Valentine box. Uh, if you didn't want it to be Valentine, if you just wanted to use this as a tea, at a tea or something, you could always put another, a different word across uh, where this little label is. <clears throat> I hope you have a good day and always remember every day is a gift. Um, this is Valentine's Day, the day of love, but every day needs to be uh, the day of love. Uh, look for the joy in your day and then go out and share it with everyone you meet along the way. So I'll uh, get busy on a new project uh, here soon and, um, and I'll be back. So I'll see you soon.